What up, peeps? It's your girl, Dash. Come back to Frontal Takes. Well, looks like a trail shot for Judas and the Black Messiah. I will tell you, this is something I have been waiting to actually drop. Uh, I talked about this briefly, I want to say almost a year ago, where it just whispers that it was in the works. I knew that Daniel Kalu was attached. I'm very happy. That brother, I've been following him since he did the movie uh, Sicario, the first one. And ever since then, I've just been loving the work he's been putting out. So to know, of course, he was attached to this, that had that on my radar. I'm curious to see who else is in this because I only knew that he was. So you know what? Let me go ahead and just jump into it. I'll see the rest of my rant then, you guys. Deputy Chairman Freddie Hampton, the Daniel Moore Black Panther Party. Mm, I love this accent. Repeat after me. for the stolen car, five years for impersonating a federal officer, or you can go home. The Black Panthers are forming a rainbow coalition of oppressed brothers and sisters of every color. Their aim is to sow hatred and inspire terror. I will learn all I can. I will learn all These ain't no terrorists. You can murder and liberate them, you can't murder liberation. You can murder but you can't murder revolution. And you can murder a freedom fighter, but you can't murder a freedom. you guys this that's how you do a goddamn trailer right there let me put it like this i don't need to see anything else when it comes out i'll be watching um it says of course in the theaters i will say um i would really love to see this in the theaters um the climb we had you know it's kind of you know iffy whichever but if they decide to put it on whatever i don't care i'm still going to watch it and i'm most definitely going to uh do a review to this particular one Daniel Kalula, literally, like I said, when I saw Mr. Curry, I really did enjoy him in that. But then after that, of course, seeing him in Get Out, that's when it, I just, it went from there on out. I went and saw that four times. So trust and believe me, he left a good impression on me to the point where I was just literally like in awe of his whole overall character in the movie. And of course, he's done other movies, you know, from there on, of course, you know, playing Wakabi. He was in Widows, just ferocious in Widows. And then, of course, he did this um, great movie last year with Jodie Turner Smith called Queen and Son, which I really enjoy. So he's one of those ones where when he puts out the work, I'm there to support. I love what he's doing. The brother is bridge and it's amazing to me how he was able to get the accent. It sounded beautiful the way he spoke. Like, oh my God, he really digs into his crap and digs into whatever role he's playing to make it just convey what we need to see. And for Fred Hammond, that character in this, it looks like it's going to be powerful. I foresee a nomination. I feel it. I know some people like that might be far-fetched. Far Not to me. Not so much. Uh, the build up the music with the build up throughout the entire trailer I liked it I did see Lakeith uh, Stansfield in this whatever he's playing which of course if you all know in the character he's playing the FBI informant if you all see the way they set up with the trailer um, in regards to how things end up eventually turning out and of course like you said you know uh, Hammond being assassinated uh, I saw what's his name oh gosh I think it's, it's a Jesse Plemons he I started following some of his work when he did I think it was the first season of was it uh, Fargo I like his work uh, yeah it looks really really good I didn't catch too many other faces um, I'm really not interested in seeing the other trailers but I might just to see if I can get another glimpse of some people because it was hitting certain um, screenshots very quickly towards the end as the music kept going going and building and building and building and this just looked like it's just going to be just straight beginning and powerful uh i know this type of um story sometimes you know can be a lot for a lot of people to bear you know but this is part of history and if you're not fully aware of it nothing wrong with getting to learn about it you know if you don't 
to each his own. Nobody's forcing you to watch it. I always say it like that. Whatever. Some people don't want to see the slave stuff. They don't want to see this. Whatever and all that. I watch all types of films. This is one of those ones that is included in all types. And I'm here for this. Especially when, like I said, you don't know, you know, some of the story, like a state. They're not going to be able to show everything within, what, a two-hour movie. But I'm hoping to hit home on certain instances of certain things that we did learn or I did learn uh, growing up about Fred Hammond. But this cast so far to me, just with the three that I did notice, um, is great. I'm loving what I'm seeing. I feel like the soundtrack is going to be off the charts as well. Um, just everything. I mean, th that trailer, and it's only so many trailers I do say that really grabbed me, but this one really did, and that's courtesy of uh, Daniel doing his thing per usual. So you guys comment below. Let me know what you think. And with that said, I'll see you guys in the next reaction. You guys take care.